Take a moment to wonder why, to ponder the universe and why we are here. Maybe ask yourself, what are we doing? Or where are we going? Or what is the meaning of life? Or maybe just, who's the most popular musical artist in history? Just taking a moment to ask yourself questions can lead you down a quite a fun rabbit hole if you just let yourself get curiouser and curiouser. I find myself asking questions about space, like, can you cry in zero gravity? Or how do you wash your hands in the space station? Or maybe even, how long exactly would a footprint last on the moon? I have found myself letting myself be curious can lead me to overcome so many of my fears and discover completely amazing things about my world. When I was younger, I was very afraid of everything. I would, my fears would be the antagonist to my curiosity. I found the two in, con in a constant battle and my curiosity rarely winning. One of my biggest fears was my fear of the ocean. I would go to the beach with my friends and try not to make up excuses and just get in the water. But usually I found myself not telling them that I really was scared that there was a shark in the water or an eel or a wave waiting to crush or devour me as soon as I stepped in with them. I had never really swam very far from shore, but I really was interested in what those watery depths held. So one summer, I finally told myself, just do it. Go out there, just start swimming, nothing can hurt you, just imagine all of the amazing fish you'll see. So I donned my snorkel gear, I stepped into the water, and of course, I chickened out at the last second. I stood at the water's edge waiting for some kind of reassurance that nothing in the ocean could really hurt me. Finally, I mustered up the courage and I dove towards the ominous coral reef. As I swam, my heartbeat began to quicken, but as soon as I saw the underwater world and the fish and the coral all around me, all of my fears completely disappeared and were replaced by an overwhelming emotion of curiosity. I began to swim through the water, exploring as much as I could, and when it was finally time to go, I left the beach looking at the world in a completely different way. We as humans, take huge risks to satisfy our curiosity, especially in prehistoric times. Our urge to explore the world didn't really seem to benefit us from a fundamental survival standpoint. There's the thought of, well, curiosity killed the cat, so why didn't it kill the humans too? Our urge to explore pushed us to new heights, but it also put us in so many dangerous situations, and it didn't really help us to become more attractive to potential mates, didn't keep our hunger at bay, it didn't, it didn't quench our thirst. So why did we stay so curious? And why are we still curious today? Well, an amazing example of curiosity is the curiosity in kids. I have a lot of younger siblings, and I've seen them all go through the many phases of curiosity. One of the most hilarious phases of curiosity was when my brother turned nine and he started, this started a phase of endless questions. Every day I was bombarded by questions like, where does the water go when you flush the toilet? Or who invented sports? Or what's the rarest mineral on earth? Surprisingly, I had no answers for any of them. <laughs> it was so amazing to just see this pure curiosity in a child's eyes. But I thought to myself, aren't adults curious too? I know that kids are curious because it's imperative to their intellectual development. But why are adults curious too? Well, there's a theory that there's a human trait called neoteny. This term means the retention of juvenile characteristics. So, retaining our juvenile characteristics, even into our adulthood, allows for an extended learning period throughout our whole entire lifetime. We keep trying to discover and trying to learn about new ways of surviving in our world, no matter how old we're getting. <laughs> so, all of this curiosity, I, I realized I'm curious about so many things, 
And I'm in this strange stage in my life where I'm losing my childlike characteristics and I'm slowly moving into adulthood. I have more and more obligations like I have to clean my room, I have to do my homework, I have to go to school, sadly. <laughs> but, and of course, that's not to mention the great distraction of social media and technology in general. I saw that I wasn't going outside and really exploring the world. I was on my phone scrolling through Instagram or procrastinating on the many homework assignments I had to do. So I thought to myself, how do I really get this motivation to go out there and be curious and explore? How do I really harness this childlike curiosity in my daily life? So I made a list, a list of things I was curious about, things that I wanted to know about my world that no one was really telling me. I, so I made a list and one of the things on that list was just simply people. I wanted to know what made an individual tick? So I made yet another list of questions that I would ask different people every day. I learned so many amazing things about my friends and I learned a lot about myself and I got out of my shell just for the sake of curiosity. I think it is so, so beneficial to just pursue your own curiosities in your daily life. If you're interested in the stars, go look at the sky every night. If you are interested in bugs, just pick a patch of grass and search through it. I've seen my siblings do it many times and I've done it myself. <laughs> I think that whatever you're interested in, just ask questions about it, no matter how grand or insignificant those questions seem. Just explore your world and never forget to take a moment. Just wonder why. Thank you.